been over two months since first taking delivery of the van, and so far, it's gone from being a dirty work van to the beginnings of a tiny home on wheels. I had been struggling quite a bit with my diesel heater, but after a super solid weekend of work, I finally got it up and running and installed my WeBoost Cell Booster. That's a mouthful. Oh guys, well after my last video of being all melancholy about not being able to figure out the heater, I actually figured out the heater and it's safe to say I have heat in the van. So I did a few different things on the heater, but the thing that I think really actually fixed it and made the difference was I basically just went back and rewired the entire thing. So I just wanted to make sure my T's were crossed and my eyes were dotted, basically stuff like that. I just really wanted to make sure everything was secure and proper. I ended up watching this video that I had not watched previously and when I saw how this person hooked up the wires for the fuel pump, it got me thinking like maybe I should just try to redo the fuel pump. So just to show you guys that it really works, I'm gonna hook up my controller here and get this thing fired up for like the fourth time. So this is the remote, which is pretty cool. It's all done through this remote. So this just fired on here. And now I will just set what temperature it's showing at 72 degrees, which is not right because it was in the garage. But let's turn it up to, let's get a toasty. Let's get it up to 86 degrees, 30 minutes. Hit on. And now you can hear it kick on. Now the heater is just starting to crank out some hot air right here. You can kind of hear, hear it blowing. It's about as loud as it gets. So even with this seat on top of it, it's even quieter. So it's really not, um, not loud at all. That is the exhaust. It's all coming out of the exhaust. You can feel it coming out here. You can smell the diesel. Look how cool that backlighting is. But anyways, I basically just had to make sure the, the connection was secure. I just kept going back to the error message that the connection was not continuous. So it just told me that there had to be something that just was not completely right. So I redid the entire fuse block. I tried it with some different types of wire and it finally worked, so. And I think it's worth mentioning that this heater uses one gallon of diesel fuel per 24 hours of runtime. So in terms of fuel usage, it's, it's almost nominal because I just don't think you're ever gonna be out somewhere for so long that you can't get access to diesel fuel, especially in the winter months like that. And then I hooked up my um, kind of battery monitor to it and it pulls 1.2 amps once it's on. It takes a little bit, it takes about seven amps to like get it going and actually get the combustion going. But once it's going, like now, it basically pulls about an amp. So it is efficient just across the board. The only thing is the noise. Very, very impressed with the power that's coming out of this small, S bar, S2 diesel heat. So this guy right here is called a Wii Boost. And what this does is basically boost all of my cell signal. While it can't basically create cell signal, like if you're just completely in a dead zone, it doesn't mean it's gonna give you cell signal, but there's been plenty of times where I've had like one little bar or not even 4G and I have like 3G and that's where this would boost that into like maximum reception. So it basically uses um, all the towers from different carriers and, and somehow boosts the cell signal. So I think this will be really, really nice, especially with having unlimited data so I can basically upload YouTube videos and stream music and make sure I don't get lost sometimes and just have um, that lifeline kind of as much as I possibly can. I'm definitely a sucker for good packaging and consumer-minded, consumer-driven packaging or insulation. And look at this, this must be some of the best I've ever seen. Like you literally open this up and it has them labeled in terms of like steps one and two, step three, step four, um, and it literally gives you an exact example. So good on you, Wee Boost. Good on you. I thought I was done with all the wires and getting everything in position, but now I have, I think, just my last one more apparatus um, that has a few moving parts to it. But um, I'll see all you guys tomorrow. We'll crush this Wee Boost and some other things. It is days like today that reminds me why I am more of a winter person. It has been 95 degrees. It's been like this for like two, three weeks and not a cloud in the sky. So the sun is just so 
Look, it already got so bright. So the sun is just super, super uncomfortable. And especially when you're trying to work on the van, it just really, really makes it difficult. So I'm gonna try to mount my Weeboo system that we saw yesterday. I ran to Home Depot this morning and got like the, the uh, all the mounting hardware that I needed. So really the only requirement for this is that they want it above the roof line of the RV. So really anywhere up on top of the the van will work. The other thing that you want to keep in mind, according to the manual, is you want a lot of separation between this outside antenna and the booster that's going to be inside the van so you don't kind of compete with um, different waves and signaling and things like that. I think right on this aluminum piece should be uh, pretty solid. So this is what it looks like all done. They gave me this bracket, and then all I did was just drill basically quarter inch holes through my cross member here, and just secured that down. Pretty sweet that it's also black, because it matches everything else. I've seen these in white as well, so I don't know, maybe I just got lucky and got a black one, but the only bummer is that it does increase my height by a good amount, but not a huge deal. If I really needed to, I could take this off because it just screws. So now I got to attach this cable and bring it into the van. I'm not entirely sure about this inside antenna yet, but this is basically what is going to be broadcasting the signal that the upper antenna gets within the van. The wire for this is basically ran right here through the wheel well, which will all be covered. And then eventually pops out and hooks into the module there. Really the last piece would be connecting this to the power source here on the fuse block and then ultimately running the wire from the outside antenna that I showed you guys down behind this wall into the module. Down. I took a dinner break and largely I just took a heat break because I was completely overheating and now it's I don't know seven o'clock it's 6 30 and it's just that perfect perfect temperature. So I want to show you guys what I've been, uh, my next little project is before the nighttime here. Look at that light though, that light is so beautiful. Anyways, if you guys look back here, it's kind of like a template sort of idea. Um, if I show you this side, you see how it has like these holes in it from where the tie down hooks were and stuff like that from um, like the, the normal van. Um, and I just want to fill this in because I don't want to lose stuff underneath here and I think it'll just kind of finish it all rather than having to see that. So I'm basically just going to cut some of this quarter inch uh, plywood and try to make something fit similar to that. But the way these are all cut, it's not like a perfect rectangle. So it shouldn't be that hard, but this is going to be a circular saw cut. Ideally, you just use a big table saw and just get those perfectly straight lines, but I don't have a table saw. So a circular saw is going to have to do. <laughs> worked out pretty nicely a uh, pretty pretty standard they're not exactly perfect but I don't think it is a huge deal but you can see when it's closed like on this side you don't see it at all unless you really get in here and like look around it's really hard um, to, I guess make out any gaps but while I was at it I also put in this top shelf area which um, I'm really really stoked with how this came out I had to add a nailer right there you can see that one by three which was pretty tough to actually secure because i had to like shoot from down here which was i don't know we made it work and then once this is closed up this will be like an awesome little bedside table sort of thing um when the bed is down to have this sort of cabinet here and now this bottom area is much more kind of singular and enclosed which i definitely dig I'm not sure if i like even properly showed you guys what's going on on this side of kind of like the bed frame area so, I'm going to show you guys real quick. Basically, this whole area is going to be faced with wood, so you won't necessarily see this. And there's going to be basically pull-out sections of it is what my thought is. So you can see, like, you pull this out, and then you'd have this area as just a little storage stuff or section. I think, like I said, a really good bedside sort of table thing, books, glasses, like maybe just phone chargers, whatever you need. This will be a sweet um sweet compartment and then here you can see it's kind of the same thing except it goes much deeper it goes to the top right above the wheel well here so this will be a lot more of a stuff cabinet um, you can fit a lot of stuff in there and then you can see that's where I ran the wires for my garage lights through here and then basically out underneath under to the garage and then this one um, goes all the way down it's really dark all the way down to the floor 
Um, so this is a super, super steep one, very deep cabinet. Maybe it's linens, maybe it is a hamper because it would kind of be the one thing where you could just like throw stuff in there and then just pull it back out with a big bag or something when you're ready. But these are all polyurethane a little bit. So it's just a little easier to touch. It doesn't give you like the really chalky plywood sort of feel. I don't wanna fight with you. I'm so ready to move in guys. It's getting me so excited. I'm super stoked with how this is coming together. I mean, I think the lights are so beautiful. I do this just about every night. I just come out here, hook up both of the uh, wires for the lights, and I just sit in here and just kind of hang out, envision what it's going to be like. I think it's going to be a super, super rad space. I got to get my ducks in a row for work tomorrow, but I'll check in with you guys after work tomorrow, get a little update, and then we'll get on with the week. So see you guys. Hope that you guys have a great start of the week, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's up, guys? Happy freaking Monday. This is my shiplap. Pretty exciting. I'm actually really, really stoked that I made this decision. Basically, um, it's very hard to kind of envision, but I think it's gonna look so super clean and just super, super rad. It's kind of similar design to Tongue and Groove in the sense that it has kind of like a tongue and then a groove, but it's more or less just an overlap. It is three eighths of an inch thick. So they make like inch thick more for like houses but again for the van i think we want lightweight um and we don't need to go that thick so i think this is going to be perfect and this will just run um all the way up the side here and i think once this is painted this color it's just gonna look it's gonna look really really awesome my dad comes back in on thursday night and in Utah, we have something called Pioneer Day, or as some people like to say, Pie and Beer Day. Um, and it's basically a statewide holiday. You don't have to work. It's basically, I think, it's when the Mormons came and settled here. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I don't really feel like looking it up, to be completely honest with you. But basically, we don't, we're don't. we not working Friday. I mean, I've also managed to grab Monday, take that day off as well. So I have a four-day weekend. Just going to be me and my dad here, so we are going to crank so before that, I'm gonna get all this wall um, painted and ready to install. And so when he gets here, we can just tag this up and then move on to the cabinet, so. I mentioned this last night, but I'm getting super antsy, super edgy um, to get in here and just start uh, living in the van. I can like smell it, I can taste it. We're close, we're, we're, we're really close. So until then, I'm just gonna keep plugging on. Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for supporting my videos. It means the world to me. Um, drop a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. So with all that being said, take it easy, fam, and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Woo!